my fellow Italians, Kalko here. 2020 is finally over, and so it is our job to make 2021 a much better year. Hopefully, we can make up for the dumpster fire that was last year, especially since we have a new season of Hitalia coming out as an anime and the manga is resuming. We have Czechia, Slovakia, and Portugal in the anime. The Philippines has been finally released after over a decade of anticipation. The anime should be coming out in the spring. So in preparation for this glorious revival, I feel that it is my job to get you all hyped for it. I thought since I haven't posted in a while, since grad school is a lot of work, I would give you an outline of what to expect this year. So I present to you the countdown to the Hitalia revival and the hopes to make this year an amazing one. Let's hope I can follow through with it. Also, stay tuned until the end because I have very important news. While I may be uploading less, I plan to put more effort into my videos. Here is a list of things that you can expect to see this year to promote the Hitalia revival, provided that nothing happens to me to cause all this to blow up in my face. In all the blank spaces within the months, I will sprinkle in miscellaneous videos for you all to enjoy, of course, so these themes aren't 100% solid. But here are the big things to expect. First, in January, I'm going to be hosting a special event on this channel to bring the community together. This will be a Hitalia Character Awards. During this event, we will show our appreciation for our favorite characters of the series and see who are the best boys and girls. More info about that will be at the end of this video. February is the month of love and Valentine's Day and romance. And what better way to celebrate than with our favorite ships? I will be hosting the Hitalia Shipping Awards 2021. Very excited for that since it was such a success last year. Now, I know I have two award shows back to back, but I wanted to do the character awards before the new season. Hopefully we could still get a lot of hype. February is also going to be my ninth anniversary of making Hetalia content in general. And to celebrate that, after five years of their absence, I am finally going to bring back something so many of you have requested. I am going to bring back Q&As, where you may ask me anything, be it about Hetalia or something else, and I will answer it in a video. And I know I have to do a 22k sub special, I'll figure it out eventually. That's either going to be a top 10, or a things you didn't know were in Hetalia, since those seem to be this channel's favorite series. So I will do those kind of videos in the weeks leading up to the anime, trying to build more hype. The anime is coming out in March or April, so any time after that will be full of me evaluating each episode, evaluating the manga, and possibly tying it to real events. Maybe I'll do a This Week in Hitalia thing or something. Or April will be a month of April Fool's content, meaning I might do an entire month of things that are not Hitalia. In May, we have Eurovision, so that will be fun. I am considering possibly hosting a Hitalia song tournament, where you will all vote on your favorite Hitalia song. But that's just a thought. June is my favorite month of the year, so this will be a wild card. I'm just going to keep you guessing here. July is a hot month, unless you're in the Southern Hemisphere. And when things get hot, they burn. So this July will be a month of roasting characters that you all know and love. This August will be this channel's fifth anniversary. So with that, we can expect something grand. I will probably do a bunch of events over my Discord server and interact with my fans, do live streams or something along those lines. At the end of the season, I'll probably do the best moments from the season's video. Not sure when that would be. September will be a month of theory and fact videos, so expect a lot of learning. 
October is a spoopy month, and also the month of Italia Day. So I'm going to continue yet another series that you all love, Dark Italia Headcanons, because we all know Edge is the best flavor. November is National Writers Month, so this month will be dedicated to fanfiction. I have some really cringy ones to make you all suffer. This will also be the month that I may finish Hitalia High School for the ones that have been so patiently waiting. I don't think I'll do as much detail as before, but at least I'll finish it. And then December we will have the Christmas special. And hopefully sometime this year, if I get the confidence and can find a company that likes me, I will hopefully have a surprise for you all coming soon. It's not Hitalia related, but I have a feeling fans of this channel will enjoy it. And of course, to kick off the year and start the hype train, I'm going to do something that I haven't done before. I wanted to do this before the new anime starts, for a reason. Because I want to do this again next year, and to bring more hype. You all loved the shipping awards a lot last year, and it went surprisingly well. There were no ship wars, everyone was respectful and civil, and it really showed how much the fandom matured. And I love putting together an interactive event like that so much that I want to do it more. So to kick off the year, I will be hosting a similar awards event, but instead of ships, it will be a general character awards. That's right, this event will focus on individual characters rather than ships, and will hopefully become an annual thing on the channel. So, what are the awards this time? Allow me to explain the awards and how you will nominate your characters. Categories will include Best Minor Character. For that character that only appeared once or twice and may not even have any dialogue, but you still love them so much. Most Underrated. A character you believe deserves more love. Hottest Guy and Hottest Girl. For all you thirsty hoes. Best Neotalia Character. Most Dynamic Character. The character that has changed the most over the course of the entire series, and has actually shown some character development. Best Voice, the character with the most beautiful singing voice. Most Controversial, the one people love and hate at the same time. The Husbando Award, Husband Material. The Waifu Award, Waifu Material. Best Pet, the best mascot. The Edgelord, the angstiest character, the coolest design, the meme lord, the most memeable character, best anime design, that anime design that when you saw it made you most proud and made you think, wow, this is a work of art. OC of the year. After many requests to do a video about OCs, I decided to make this a category. Choose a fan-made character that you really like, and don't forget the person who made it. And of course, character of the year. This may not be your favorite character, but it could be a character you like, have seen good art or fanfiction of, or just made you feel something this year. A character you believe deserves to be recognized as something good. I have a form in the description so that you may nominate your characters in the comment section. The nominations will close in five days, and I will tally up the results after that. Good luck, and may the best character win. Also, out of all the ideas above, let me know which ones you like the most. Let's hope we can create a massive fandom revival with the new anime coming out. I hope you will continue to enjoy the content I plan to make for this year. Don't forget to join my Discord server, and until then, keep on studying.